Hi, my name is Sharon Valentine. Thanks so much for joining me for this story and prayer time. Today I'm going to be reading a book by Mem Fox. It's called Wilfred Gordon MacDonald Partridge. That's a lot of names, isn't it? I might mess it up when we're reading a little bit. You could listen for that. If you happen to have this book, it's a great time to go grab it so you can follow along. So in this story, we're going to meet this little boy who has many names, and he kind of has some different adventures as he tries to think about memories. So Wilfred Gordon MacDonald Partridge, written by Mem Fox. There once was a small boy called Wilfred Gordon MacDonald Partridge. And what's more, he wasn't very old either. His house was next door to an old people's home, and he knew all the people who lived there. He liked Mrs. Jordan, who played the organ. He listened to Mr. Hosking, who told him scary stories. He played with Mr. Tippett, who was crazy about cricket. He ran errands for Miss Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. He admired Mr. Drysdale, who had a voice like a giant. But his favorite person of all was Miss Nancy Allison Delacourt Cooper because she had four names just as he did. He called her Miss Nancy and he told her all his secrets. One day, Wilford Gordon heard his mother and father talking about Miss Nancy. Poor old thing, said his mother. Why is she a poor old thing? asked Wilford Gordon. Because she's lost her memory, said his father. It isn't surprising, said his mother, after all. She is 96. What's a memory? asked Wilford Gordon. He was always asking questions. It is something you remember, said his father. But Wilford Gordon wanted to know more. So he called on Mrs. Jordan, who played the organ. What's a memory? he asked. Something warm, my child something warm. He called upon Mr. Hosking, who told him scary stories. What's a memory? he asked. Something from long ago, me lad, something from long ago. He called on Mr. Tippett, who was crazy about cricket. What's a memory, he asked. Something that makes you cry, my boy. Something that makes you cry. He called on Miss Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. What's a memory, he asked. Something that makes you laugh, my darling. Something that makes you laugh. He called on Mr. Drysdale, who had a voice like a giant. What's a memory, he asked. Something as precious as gold, young man. Something as precious as gold. So Wilford Gordon went home again to look for memories for Miss Nancy because she had lost her own. He looked for the shoebox of shells he had found long ago last summer, and put them gently in a basket. He found the puppet on strings, which always made everyone laugh, and he put it in the basket too. He remembered with sadness the medal which his grandfather had given him as he placed it gently next to the shells. Next, he found his football, which was precious as gold. And last of all, on his way to Miss Nancy's, he went into the hen house and took a fresh 
warm egg from under a hen. Then Wilford Gordon called on Miss Nancy and gave her each thing one by one. What a dear strange child to bring me all these wonderful things, thought Miss Nancy. Then she started to remember. She held the warm egg and told Wilford Gordon about the tiny speckled blue eggs she had once found in a bird's nest in her aunt's garden. She put a shell to her ear and remembered going to the beach by tram long ago and how hot she had felt in her button-up boots. She touched the metal and talked sadly about the big brother she had lost who had gone to the war and never returned. She smiled at the puppet on strings and remembered the one she had shown to her sister and how she had laughed with a mouthful of porridge. She bounced the football to Wilford Gordon and remembered the day she had met him and all the secrets they had told. And the two of them smiled and smiled because Miss Nancy's memory had been found again by a small boy who wasn't very old either. And that's how our story finishes. Maybe you know somebody who has trouble remembering things sometimes. That's not always easy. But the important thing is that we get to do what's most important, and that is we can love people. We can share stories. We might not always help people to remember the way Miss Nancy did, but we all have wonderful memories that we hold precious in our heart. In the Bible, the Apostle Paul writes in the book of Corinthians chapter 13, all about love, reminding us that love is patient and kind, reminding us all of the qualities of what it is to love one another. People even use that passage a lot at weddings, but it can be remembered at any time as we think about how important love is. That's something we never want to forget. Would you join me in a repeating prayer? We are going to say it together. I will say it first, and then I will whisper the words. And at that time, uh, that is your cue to say the words after me. So again, you're listening for me to say the words, and then you're going to repeat them. Let us pray. Dear God, dear God, thank you that you help us to love each other. Thank you that you help us to love each other. Thank you for memories. Thank you for memories. Thank you for all the stories we share. Thank you for all the stories we share. Help us to love one another. Help us to love one another. Help us to take care of each other. Help us to take care of each other. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. And I'm going to ask you if you would pray again with me as we say together the Lord's Prayer. Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that you will feel the importance of love. If you can, 
go find someone trusted, an adult at your house or your brother, your sister, your pet or your stuffy and give them a great big hug. Until next time, be safe. Remember, Jesus loves you.